Hey, I'm Erica Thomas with Tribune Digital Media, and I'm here today at the Argo Fire Department with a really cool piece of equipment, well, several pieces that they just got, and I'm going to bring in the fire chief, Scott Payne. Come on, guys, I'm gonna get behind the camera now. Um, what do we have here? Uh, we just recently, uh, through the CARES Act, was able to purchase some new EMS equipment. Uh, we were able to buy two uh, LifePak 15s, two Lucas 3s, and four AEDs. Um, it's been a great help for us. Uh, we needed the equipment, and now I'll pass along to Lieutenant Griffith to demonstrate the equipment. Hey there, Lieutenant Griffith with Argo Fire. Um, like Chief said, we, uh, we got a couple pieces of equipment. Um, these will go on our frontline ALS apparatus. Um, what these do is these allow us uh, to evaluate people on medical calls and scenes uh, with the cardiac monitor. We'll be able to assess blood pressure, heart rate, oxygen level, uh, EKG. Uh, also, what it allows us to do is if someone has a heart attack uh, or something like that, we'll be able to defibrillate them and provide quality CPR to them in the field. Um, it's a very, very complex event that happens, uh, but these two pieces of equipment help streamline our treatment for them um, so that we can render aid and then transport them to the hospital in a timely manner. All right, and this is a demo that's happening right now. So this is not actually connected to a person. So you wouldn't normally do CPR to a person that... Yeah, right. So we have a, our, our heart rhythm is on the top. This is a quality of respiration. Uh, and then this is their waveform of their respiration. Uh, we have a heart rate their oxygen level, their CO2 level, what they're exhaling out of their body, their temperature, and then a blood pressure reading at the bottom. So what we can do is we use these tools and by assessing the patient, we can try and figure out what they have going on in their body that's causing whatever their issue is. So uh, if we went on a cardiac arrest or something, these waveforms would look different than this. This is a, an alive person right now. Um, but what we would do is we would look at this say this person's in cardiac arrest, we would initiate a CPR uh, algorithm on them. So we would start with a manual CPR, we would assemble our new CPR device. Uh, when, they, when, when they're ready, we would apply the CPR device to the patient. Uh, we would turn it on, apply the cup, and then we would start CPR on them. And now we have more providers that would be able to render other treatments to the patient while this machine automatically applies quality CPR. Wow, this is awesome. So these all are going to very likely save lives, correct? Oh yes, that, that is the, the sole purpose of these two devices is to save lives. Their tools in our toolbox so that we go out in the field, we can get people quality care. All right, well, awesome. Thanks for having me, and I hope everyone enjoys this video.